next no, row or last row. Yeah. It's a very basic question. Uh, like uh, for any R&D laboratory, just one for API, another for formulation R&D, another is for biotech R&D. Are there any specific regulatory guidelines for the setup of laboratory? Okay, there's two things here. There is reason to believe that FDA will try to enforce ISO 17025 onto R&D laboratories. Uh, 17025 is like 9001 applied to laboratories. The, the other problem is this. Um, the R&D laboratory will, feed, will provide the initial information needed in the early stages of an IND. And that information has to be under either GLP or GMP condition. Now, if your people, if, you know, some companies, R&D passes stuff to a development group, and then the development group provides the information needed for the submission. In that case, it's the development group that has to comply. R&D is on the side and can, you know, clean hands. You don't, you don't have to worry about the thing. But there is a push right now in FDA to extend regulation to all pharmaceutical labs, including the R&D lab. Now, 17025 for a R&D lab is not that big a deal. It's, it's mainly a case of keeping good records and having good lab notebooks. And let's face it, for an R&D lab, you know, you know that if you ever get patent issues, your records are very important. So you should be doing stuff like that already anyway. possible that they will extend it to up to R&D labs also because the scale up was done at that stage only. Okay, so sometimes, and <laughs> this is why in a lot of US companies, the R&D labs are physically located in a different place from the, you know, the main plant. Uh, if there was scale up work done in the R&D group, yes, they will come and look at the R&D group because technically you are part of the development of the pro product. But Normally, they won't look at an R&D lab. Uh, they're more interested in the immediate, you know, the pre at the preclinical level. How did you make the stuff that was done, used in animal testing, for instance? And that's usually done by a development group. Is so. there no specific guidelines for any biotech uh, specific or any uh, chemical API specific or any formulation R&D specific? No.